a hundred days ago, I put nothing but dirt in a jar to see what would grow. I will show you what plants and animals appear in these hundred days. And I will also show you how to do this yourself if you want to try it. Watch till the end of the video for that. But first, let's see what happened in these hundred days. On day 4, the first plants appeared. You probably can't see shit. Wait, here, I'll help you. Amazing, isn't it? On day 6, even more plants appeared. These are a few different species also. On day 10, the first moss appeared. Here is a top view and you can see that the plants are growing. On day 13, I saw the first plant with more than one leaf. There is one of them. The rest of the plants is also growing. And the plant that is going to become the biggest on day 100 started appearing. The plants are becoming bigger and bigger. And the first animal will appear around day 50, so you just wait for that. On day 30, there are multiple bigger plants. And also the moss beginning to cover the whole jar. On day 40, you can see that there is more green than dirt. This is moss that is starting to cover the whole surface of the jar. By now, the grass almost reaches the top of the jar. On day 50, the first animal is emerging somewhere down there. The jar is starting to become a real ecosystem. And there is the first animal. At first I thought it was a mosquito, but mosquitoes have aquatic larvae, so it doesn't make sense that they would appear in this jar. This is probably a crane fly. Adult crane flies don't feed, they only live 1 to 3 days, and their only purpose is to find a mate and procreate. That means that this guy died with blue balls. And here he is dead, can you see his body? There it is. A moment of silence for Bob. Leave a like to pay your respects. We are almost at day 100 and the plants are still getting bigger and bigger. On day 100 I also discovered another animal in this ecosystem. This is how the jar looked at day 100. I think there are about 6 or 7 species of plants in there. And this grass even formed some air roots. But when I was filming this, I noticed something moving. There is a little springtail. These are little animals that are very important for the terrarium ecosystem. They will eat the mold that appear and keep your ecosystem healthy. The rest of the video is a tutorial on how I made this jar. You probably didn't expect this, but you will need the jar. First, add a layer of small stones. These will act as a false bottom for excess water. For the dirt or soil, you need to get it from a garden, a park or a forest. Store-bought soil won't contain the eggs, seeds, spores and bacteria to help grow these plants and animals. So this is bioactive dirt. This basically means that this dirt is alive and full of nutrients. Just make sure you add enough in the jar. Here is a fast forward. After adding the dirt, spray it with rainwater. You probably only need to do this once at the start. Because when you seal the jar, the water can't escape and will recycle within the jar. At the start, when there are no plants or little plants, open the jar every day for about 15 minutes. This will let some oxygen in for animals that might be already in there. Thanks for watching and if you want to know how animals and plants can survive in a closed jar, watch this video next.